Hey people, what's going on? Let's talk about what's going down at um, Real Housewives of Atomic. There's so much going on, but I'm not going to stay on here long. Let's talk about Candace and Giselle when Giselle was laughing at Candace when she was crying. Okay, we know that, right? So Andy was telling the ladies to get the, get their stuff together before it, you know the show go on pause. Personally, I think the show needs to go on pause anyway because they need to do some recasting. And well, actually a reboot. And plus, do not bring nobody back. I'd rather see a cast with nobody I don't know. What, 15 episodes I can figure out what they're about. So, that's how I'm feeling. <clears throat> but most definitely... um. I don't even have to say words about uh, Green Eye Bandit. Anybody know how they feel about her and her little uh, friends that um, like her or whatever. But it didn't make no sense. It's supposed to be a reunion. I thought a reunion was supposed to be happy time. But at this point, I understand that they have to, you know, get things settled and stuff like that. I understand that. But just outright being uh, rough and all that type of stuff. But anyway, it was a post going around on um, the Internet. They're saying that she wasn't coming back anyway. So now we don't have both of the green eye bandits. Won't he do it? But um, that's what's going on. And um, they need to take Ashley right with them. Oh, yeah, I'm eating some old nasty fried uh, onions and uh, potatoes. And with some eggs with cheese and some toast with strawberry jelly. But yeah, but getting back to the, it just, it, it, I mean, the best part was, uh oh, the best part was when, um, I, I think it was when it first came on, um, Mia was on the phone with her, uh, her new, well, her past boo, and her other boo was there. And he spoke to both of them like there was nothing to it. Charlie, they really got to understand it. He should be remain nameless. Won't even show up and stand up for his woman. And then I heard something today that uh, I think uh, those two the uh, hustlers with six hustling for eight episodes they had um, filing for a divorce. I guess so. The money gone. <laughs> she should have wrote an ebook. Call it um, why I couldn't stay on uh, Bravo, but I did for eight years, but I couldn't get it ten year. Child, just make it make sense. But anyway, so there's so much going on. That got we got we got two more parts. I don't even think I'm gonna watch the two parts. I think I'm just gonna go to uh, Twitter and Facebook and see what they say. If they say something out of the way, you know that's pretty good or whatever. I definitely uh, will go and um, rewatch it. All right, let's talk about. Um, I'm about to say marriage and medicine. Let's talk about uh, Summer House Martha Venue. Hot mess. Now, last year, I was all on Twitter. I said, will they please drink more? Child, the first episode. What did they say? Let's take some shots. Every every event is like, take a shot, 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 take a shot. Child, the power in Twitter. But um, it's a pretty good show. Um, Preston, but that's my favorite. Um, yeah, the other guys, mm -mm, I don't see it for them. I don't think they're giving anything, you know, they, they're not giving anything. And then, and, and one thing really upset me about this episode. Oh, let me tell you the story. So I woke up in the morning. I thought we was on the third episode because I get my episode the next day on Peacock. But I used to buy the season pass. And I had to wait one day or wait a month to get one episode. But that's another story. I guess I'll make that a blog post. Um, yeah, so they just can't stop drinking now, so it's funny. Oh, and Bree, everybody over Bree. I th I even think the fans is over Bree. She was cute last season. <laughs> but she want to come back and do the same episode? I don't think so. Not today, Satan. Not today. Not today. It is not going to happen. Mm -mm. But yeah, so. She there, 
Brian, her and uh, uh, Preston got into it in the first episode. Now that shit was funny. Somebody made a meme uh, how his face was set up. And um, I wrote a meme. I said, that's the look that your uh, uncle give you when you cutting up at the uh, cookout. So somebody from Bravo uh, responded to me and said screaming. <laughs> so I guess my little tweet's about something. And what else happened? Man? Jordan with her hair issue. That's sad. But Jordan acted like she did on Winter House in the last season. Mm -mm. I think she just need a break, honestly. I really think she need a break. It was, I think the girl named Sharice. Shonda. I don't know. The girl that lost her job in, for Phoenix and then she moved to Florida. Talking about she don't got no clothes and then they voted her worst dress. Child, make it make sense. Mm -hmm. Now, how can you be going to the Hamptons and you don't got no money to buy no drag? Child. I don't have no money, but I go to, um, I used to go to thrift shops, but I stopped going to thrift shops because they got just as expensive as Target. And, uh, we got a store here called Primark. Now, I went to Primark. I got some gloves, two hats. Well, the gloves and the two hats were on sale. Bought some socks. Bought a pair of pants and a shirt. Then I bought a jogger set. I think all that came up to like $60. Now, I think if I went to the thrift store, Thought I was gonna say some money, that wouldn't definitely wouldn't have been the case. But anyway, there's places where you can shop and she's skinny too. Please, she better go on to a thrift store or you know, depends on how expensive they are. But they're expensive here. But um she can find something. What is that? HM, they got Sheen, Tuba, I mean um Tuba, Tuma, or something like that. There's places where you can go, get some nice little outfits. But like I said, she's real small, so she shouldn't have no problem. She might find something on clearance. But you just have to do the, the research and the shopping and all like that. But it's definitely there. It just, you know, you just have to take your time. Shoot, recycle some of the clothes you got already. You gotta learn how to re what is that? recycle and mix and match. <clears throat> and don't try to wear the uh, outfits, of, you know, too long or whatever. What else is going on? Um, I can't think of the little guy name. What's this? Is it Hick? I can't think of the guy. But anyway, the guy did this real um, uh, flirty and hand touching when he started drinking. So that was an issue on the show, uh, episode two. So I don't know. So you have to be so careful. Well, you need to be careful anyway. If you know you act that way when you start drinking, take you one drink and go on about your business. Or don't drink at all. How they say, just say no. But um, they icing out on uh, my girl, uh, Jasmine. And uh, and she the one, you know, put them on and get each other a check. Now, how that girl couldn't have no money to buy no clothes? And she had a job. And she had the, the money from the job. And she had the money from the, the uh, Bravo check. So, trying to live beyond your means, it, it never works. Believe me when I tell you. And what else happened? Um, oh, yeah, Preston asked um, Summer. Yeah, Preston asked um, Summer, how was it with that guy or whatever? I can't think of his name. And um, somebody said on Twitter that um, he should be asking that. Lies you tell. If you on a reality show, we need to know every step on screen, off screen, in the DMs and all that. We need to see proof, receipts, everything. Because it's all about the what? Being nosy. What? Getting the tea. What? The shade. What? The mess. So, basically, that's all that I got. I try to um, stay on at least for 10 minutes. But I don't know if I'm going to make it. But yeah, the show is really good, but oh yeah, what's his name? Jason? They said that Jason, well, he wanted to come back, but Bravo said that he didn't bring nothing. That's a damn lie. He brought everything. He was funny. Then he was a flight attendant too. Lies you tell. Alright, good people. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. 
Share, share, share. Sharing is caring. All right. Bye-bye, y'all.